This is so awkward. <laughs> it was a moment that perfectly summed up the Conservative leadership race. Awkward. Rishi Sunak and Liz Truss have battled for nearly three months to be crowned Britain's next Prime Minister, but their campaigns haven't exactly been plain sailing. We're looking back at some of the best bits. Sunak's campaign didn't get off to a great start, as one of his supporters made an embarrassing gaffe on Twitter. Truss's campaign launch didn't go too smoothly either, as her capabilities were thrown into question when she failed to find the exit. At one of the earlier hustings, Truss and Sunak were badgered by protesters. They mainly had it in for Truss, who oversaw the culling of badgers when she was environment secretary. A few days later, teetotal Sunak learned the art of pulling a pint. But he was slightly caught off guard when a punter slipped up on his name. Quite a bitter for me, Russian. <laughs> of course, nothing was quite as dramatic as Talk TV's debate, which was cut short when presenter Kate McCann collapsed. Sunak's campaign took a hit when a leaked video emerged. I managed to start changing the funding formulas to make sure that areas like this are getting the funding that they deserve. Because we inherited a bunch of formulas from the Labour Party that shoved all the funding into deprived urban areas. Uh, and they, you know, that needed to be undone. His team tried to repair the damage with some slightly cringeworthy videos. Like the bizarre one announcing his plans to create a new Brexit delivery department. Another showed the self-professed underdog taking a well-earned break and eyeing up an anti-tank launcher. Truss's approach to the media has been very head-on. As well as mocking the BBC, she accused the press of trying to talk our country down. She was then caught on a hot mic, apologising to host Tom Newton Dunn. Thank you, Liz Truss. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm sorry I was mean about the media, Tom. It's, it's cheap. Like Sunak, Truss's reputation was damaged by a leak. She was caught saying Brits needed more graft. British workers um, produce less per hour, than, and that's a combination of kind of skill and application. We've learned a lot about Truss's thoughts on some of her fellow world leaders. She didn't quite give France's president, Emmanuel Macron, a ringing endorsement. Um, but President Macron, friend or foe? The, the jury's out. And she insulted Scotland's first minister. I think the best thing to do with Nicola Sturgeon is ignore her. I think she's, I think, I'm sorry, she's an attention seeker. However, Nicola Sturgeon seemed to take it on the chin. If this leadership contest is anything to go by, we're sure to be in for an interesting couple of years until the next general election. You're joking. Not another one? I'll get that little piece of dandruff off.